So I'd like to welcome Carl Hudson from ARM, Mike Eftemekis, and Simon Rance right here. So let's start with the challenges of uh, building IoT systems. Because um, basically, we see the, the same kind of challenges for IoT systems as we see for other types of design. Um, you, can't, you can't really design everything yourself. You have to integrate IP in your design. But unfortunately, integrating IP takes time. It's not easy to understand how to integrate the IP. It's not easy to understand how to configure it, especially when it's a complex IP that you need to configure when uh, it uh, relates to uh, interconnect with the IP with many options, with many different uh, configurations. Sometimes you have configurations that can't really uh, be used because they don't make sense or they don't provide the uh, expected performance in your design. So there are some do and don'ts, and uh, it's not easy to learn about them. You have hundreds of pages of documentation going on with the IP, so, so that's something that uh, takes time. Uh, the other thing that takes time, of course, is the integration itself. Uh, stitching things together and making sure that they work, uh, the IP works together, uh, is a, a huge task in the uh, design of uh, SOCs. So we have tried to see what we can do uh, as ARM and Cadence to help you with this, uh, with this task and try to speed up the development. And this is especially important for IoT and that's why we target uh, the IoT applications because in IoT we will see a range of different devices to, uh, that will have to be designed for specific applications. And um, these devices will have to be produced very quickly because uh, the uh, IoT market is evolving quickly, and you have to you have to be uh, to be uh, uh, able to design these new versions very uh, easily, so that you don't spend time integrating the IP. So we have several stages, and if you come back tomorrow at this time and the day after this time, we'll go through uh, each of them more in detail. Uh, so, basically, from the product definition to the implementation, we have uh, several steps where we try to, um, to accelerate the implementation of, uh, of IoT chips. One of the ways we have uh, uh, tried to help as much as possible our uh, customers in ARM is to, um, is to implement what we call subsystems. Subsystems are pre-assembled um, systems or mini systems that you can plug into your design and you are sure that they can uh, uh, operate directly because they have been fully validated. So here you see the uh, SSE 200 subsystem which is part of the system design kit SDK 200 as well. Um, so this subsystem is designed for secure IoT applications and uh, we have implemented plenty of security features in the, in the subsystem. <coughs> we have started with the M33, so the Cortex M33 processor, which is a processor that implements trust zone security. And we have implemented trust zone security within the system. So here you see uh, protection controllers that manage the accesses, making sure that we segregate the secure accesses and the non-secure accesses. You have an interconnect that is able to uh, propagate the security information and uh, then we have assembled around that um, s uh, some uh, IP or peripherals that are meaningful in an IoT context. And of course we have made this in a way that can be useful to our partners and useful directly, so we have implemented it in a way that contains power control and, uh, and uh, an architecture that is uh, power conscious. So this is, this is a, a really optimal way to start a secure IoT design. And, um, and on, on this structure, you can plug in then the rest of the system, which is small in that, in, in that picture, but in fact, the, um, the, the system around the subsystem may be very large, especially if you integrate radios, etc. Additional to the subsystem, we have a software framework that is available, and this is ARM Embed. You have probably heard about it. If not, you should learn about it because this is an open, open source initiative from ARM to help speeding up the development of IoT devices. So it's open source, it's free, you can go to the ARM Embed website, so embed.com. You go to embed.com and you will be able to download the software right away and work 
uh, with the software with any uh, uh, any platform because you can port it to different platforms. And we have made sure that we have a, a version that is uh, uh, adapted to the subsystem. So we'll go now and uh, let uh, Simon continue on the Thank you, tooling side. At ARM, we, we have uh, what we call our Socrates product line of IP tooling that works very well with ARM IP and our subsystems as well. Here we have uh, an example of where uh, Socrates is being used to help guide with the selection of IP, specifically for ARM IP. Uh, the tool itself with the IP catalog, as you can see in the diagram down the bottom here, it presents you with a list of all ARM IP. Uh, it categorizes that from our CPUs to multimedia to our system IP, our interconnects. Through that catalog, we allow you to easily configure that IP for the system that you're, you're intending to create and implement. Also into the tooling as well, we have the ability to help with integrating and assembling your systems very quickly using advanced metadata that is assigned to the IP in the configuration process. So we allow you to, to integrate that IP very quickly together in the system and then generate the various type of design deliverables out of it, such as RTL, test benches, uh, documentation, design specs, um, test cases. We also produce with the tool the IP exact IEEE 1685 standard as well. So you, you have all of the metadata all the way from the IP coming right the way through to the system as well. And in the demonstration that we've got uh, here at DAC this week between ARM um, and Cadence, you will see exactly that IP exact metadata being used through the Socrates tool to stitch together ARM um, and Cadence IP, expanding that system that uh, Mike just showed you in the previous slide. And the Cadence uh, verification tools, their IWB verification workbench that Carl's going to introduce to you, they take that metadata, the RTL as well, and verify that system very quickly for you and the interconnect IP. This gives you a little bit of a, uh, an introduction to what that IP catalog actually looks like. So here on the left-hand side, you can see for ARM IP, we've got the, the processes, the multimedia, and so on. When you select one of these, you can just, in the GUI, for example, you just double click on that IP. It presents you with all of the configurable parameter options for that IP. You can start selecting uh, the configuration of the CPU, the interconnect. As you do this, there is intelligence built in to the Socrates tool that will explain to you whether you're doing a valid configuration of that IP or not. And if not, why? And help guide you through that configuration process. Just like any other tool, we have the ability to do this from an API, from a command line as well. So you don't have to just use the graphical interface. And from there, you're dropped into a, a schematic canvas where the Socrates tool will then, with the metadata, allow you to start stitching those IP together very, very quickly so that you can essentially configure and build in just a few minutes. So as Mike mentioned, we're, we're introducing more of the tool, more of the IP, uh, more of the cadence verification aspect of the next two days here at Chip Estimate. Um, but just to give you a bit of insight, um, the, the aim of Socrates is to help configure uh, IP and stitch together your systems very quickly. And with that, I will hand that over to Carl uh, from Cadence. Thank you, Simon. So as you know, Cadence has a, a full suite of um, verification. Uh, for this one, we're, we're actually going to be focusing on um, the verification IP and um, the interactive uh, workbench. But we do have a, a full solution for more, more complex uh, designs. So what, what do you get out of this? As Simon alluded to, um, what you're trying to do is, is make the verification uh, a lot easier. You get very complex IP, you get uh, complex designs, and you want a way to quickly verify the design and not be worrying about if you change a configuration. And this tool allows you to um, take the output from Socrates, 
to verify the, uh, the fabric um, automatically and then to generate um, a test bench based on uh, peripheral IP that you've selected. And we've prepared a demo that uh, allows you to do this. Obviously, uh, we work very close, uh, close with um, ARM. Uh, we, we have solutions for all their different um, um, markets that they operate in. But the one that we're focusing on for, for this one is uh, Interconnect Workbench um, that allows you to do the, uh, uh, the verification. So what we do, we take the, um, the, the, the metadata out of Socrates uh, and call link creator. Uh, we run it through Interconnect Workbench, which then um, generates uh, and checks all your, your profile of your, all, all your, your traffic profile in and checks all your, um, your fabric integrity to make sure that you're working uh, correctly, you're obeying all the protocols on the different uh, buses. Then we'll automatically generate um, a, a test bench, automatic test, where you can do some traffic profiling, you can do fault coverage, and you can even uh, put that through into uh, hardware accelerators, uh, you know, it, it, if you want to take it further. So what you have here is a complete system that enables you to automatically generate your full system test bench and saves you writing all, all that code. And it, it really is quite a, a powerful tool. If you've ever written a, a, a system level test bench, you can spend a lot of hours doing this, and this, this can do it in minutes on a, a design of this, this nature. So what we're going to ask you to do is we're going to ask you to go to the ARM stand and um, generate um, your, your ARM system um, based on Socrates and the IP catalog. Uh, you'll assemble it over there. Um, then what you'll do is uh, you'll generate your AHP5 and your internet. Then you'll bring that um, over to the, the uh, Cadence stand and you, you'll add um, your, your IP um, to create your, your full system. You can add third-party IP, but for the purpose of this demo, obviously, we've, we've um, just focused on the, the Cadence IP. Uh, and then you will generate your test bench automatically. You'll see this happen. It's an interactive demo, and you'll be able to uh, see the power of the tool. And if you do that, and you do it fast enough, you'll win. So uh, you will be timed in the, the two activities on the, on the two stands, and uh, then the fastest time at the end of the day will, will win a fit bit. OK? So come and see us um, at the arm stand and the cadence stand, and take part in the demo. There's a lot more information uh, to be had there. Any questions? On the first file, you saw the implementation. Are you going to have a reference design? Because to make sure that whatever the, the IP will work at the speed that we promised, at the technology that's going to be implemented? OK, that, that's a good question. For the subsystem, we develop, uh, we develop the RTL. We also do some uh, implementation trials, and we, uh, we show how we can reach certain performances uh, in silicon. So we go up to the implementation phase, and we, we demonstrate that. And this knowledge is then um, well, well included in the IP because we also deliver the implementation script as reference so that our partners can see how we have uh, reached the uh, expected uh, performance. So, so that's a way to help. We don't deliver GDS2, but at least you have, uh, you have some way to get there and uh, to get there in a more uh, controlled way. Any further questions? Okay, well, enjoy the show. I'm sure you'll have a good deck, and please come and see us on the um, Arm and Cadence stands. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.